Hello and welcome to another Hogwarts Legacy video. If you enjoy it, then subscribe for your chance to win £50 worth of gift vouchers. And let's get to it! Alright, Hogsmeade it is. spell practice. Meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Did you want to watch me practice? I do mind. Rebellion! Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. Oh, I have an God. idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying. that one. Hopefully I've got enough for it. Ah, oh, new face! Wonderful! Hello. Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? Bloody hell, don't have enough. Um, see if we can sell anything. Nice doing business with you. I'll have enough now. Now, oh, which one? Hogwarts house broom? Nah. Moon trimmer, wind wisp, you weaver. Comfortable speedy broom with a unique woven design. Fiery temperament. A broom enhanced, enhanced, celebrate, particular hope. Nah. Finally crafted from ash, this broom is built for stability. That item is of the highest quality. So I'm guessing that there's not. That item is of the highest quality. Much difference. Quite like that one. They're all the same price, so I'm guessing they they're all gonna fly the same. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. 
You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? That sounds Let's intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while, if I'm right. The new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Rays will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Ah, I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. Hey, how do I get on my broom? Let me open. <coughs> Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Oh, L1 and tap circle. <laughs> This is what I've been waiting for. It's gonna be our time. If it isn't Slytherin's newest broom talent. Hello, Imelda. Albie Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that to the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You can't be what passes for Slytherin these days. Pfft, ragged old hats dropping at standards. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. 
Slytherin versus Slytherin. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Why not? <clears throat> It's a new place, isn't it? Easily beat it. This is rather fun. Oh, that's not you, you must have cheated you. Oh, fine. You won. Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. I don't want respect from the likes of you. All you do is insult people. You and everyone else need to get a thicker skin. Anyway, I'm moving on to the next course. It's near Irondale and offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. Okay. Next quest are oh, so many. Ah, oh, the room of requirement. This is the one that they suggested I get to before exploring. What's this? Okay. Let's do that. See if we can get off here. Why not? Oh, that is pretty annoying.
No, not doing another side quest at the moment. Sorry. Birds defending Hogsmeade against Trill. Yeah, I don't want to hear it right now, pal. Rebellion. Another book flying around. You know, it does help to look at the thing while you're stirring. Rebellion. Let's do this one. Five, three, zero. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Hmm. There you go. Twelve, four, and two. So I need a six, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. The little lizard fella. going on here I need that it's not there but the lizard Hang on. so that's top one four okay four five so I need seven Three, four, five, six. Okay, it's that octopusy. Cool. Got all muddled up then. Unidentified head item. Interesting. Rebellion. Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. stopped me and I... Merlin's beard! I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor.
What is this place? This is the Womb of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room. Let me open and find it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Triangle X, square triangle. Let's go. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Okay. Excellent work. Nice. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that... goodness? My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. I waited for you here for ages. Perhaps you were assigned a few more inches of parchment that you'd expected. What? Let me know if you want to try and meet again. Rebellion. Oh, dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Sorry. This isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! No, not... Uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin! <laughs> they defended the room, thought I needed a bath, cheeky thing. Pearly. <clears throat> How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Oh. 
What was that? Was that a golden stitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> I didn't see it. supposed to be doing here. Let's have a look here. Quite what that has done. So, a place to jump over. I hope that house elf can find us in here. I want to figure this out. See it. Rebellion. Mm. Aha. Action. Oh, are you joking me? Sure, that's not meant to happen. Let's try and jump over this way, though. jump over that way. <sighs> I might just come back to that later then. Careful, huh? 
Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. <clears throat> Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, well, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. <laughs> and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Sorcery hats. <clears throat> You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Hmm. Okay, what? Let's have a look at that hat real quick. Huh? Oh, level 15, that's a bugger, isn't it? She's gonna tell me what the moonstone is uh, all about. Okay, let's carry on. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you.
Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Potions. So they're all the same price. Small Gothic, Eclectic, Botanical, Scientific. Let's go for Gothic. can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Okay, I need that. It's just stuff I took down earlier. No thanks. to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Oh, why wouldn't I? Bloody hell, that's annoying. This many plants. 
around here before? Hey. Where are you? I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. Pretty sure I've got enough. Dick thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? I don't really want to. Deke hasn't seen this many plants here before. Professor, I have some questions about conjuration. Yes? Actually, I don't think I have any questions. I'm here if you do. All right. Oh, I need to conjure more. God damn it. Gonna get rid of them later anyway. everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Just 
Aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the... It warms my heart to see your interest in pathology, dare I say, blossom. How exactly do I adjust the size of an item? for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Try aiming at the floor or at that balcony whilst using the altering spell. Mm-hmm. All right, this one. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. I Deke deep. hasn't seen this many plants. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I'd like the room to feel mysterious and eerie, as if I'm in the Forbidden Forest, surrounded by shadows. Oh, hmm, sounds perfect. Very nice. Perfect. Mm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spellcasting. 
If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Sweet. So, is it this way? Over here. Let's check it out quickly. So I can just put anything I want here, I guess. Alright. Oops. There's plants. Uh, let's get some of these going. Oh, bollocks. What are they exactly? Maxima increases drinker's spell damage. Okay. Right. I would like to get out of here. Back here, though, is the question. Many beasts you have here. Dick thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Astronomy Tower, okay. Pretty cool. Equipping better gear with height. Rebellion. Uh, 
Oh, nice. Not been here before. Let's see where we're going. fast travel but I'm already on the way now eyes oh, here anyway cool over here Sebastian it's been a while it has glad you received my owl I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. Let's go then. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. going there alone. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used what? to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. I know Ominous. Met him in our common room. I've noticed he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Of course. Ominous spoke to me about his family when we first met. To say that he has no love lost for them is an understatement. Glad you understand. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper good magical to me. education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic, but you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. 
The incantation is Confringo. Very well. <clears throat> Gonna be easy. As usual. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the target. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses. I think you'll find that it can bring the Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. Oops. You'll get used to it. That's it. I think I've got it. Well done. I like it. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. I'm ready this for is more. exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. I've been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although... I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key that... A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours... Does this allow you to wield this magic too? I, I... I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Cheers, pal. What? Still a little bit glitchy here and there, but... Still enjoying the game a lot. Oh, God. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there? I can hear you. Oh, uh, hello, Ominous. I was just heading to our common room. I've recognized that voice. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. 
My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. I don't like his tone. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your undercroft. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Okay. Looks like I need to go to Hogsmeade. than Hogsmeade. Revelio. I need to find more of them uh, eyeball. Okay. Those eyeball chests. Leviosa, it can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. What's this? Hmm. Right. Wizard wear, nah. Probably going to be closed at the moment. Magic knee. Where? Where can I find one shop? No. Brooms? No. There's a shop that you can buy. Uh, Like stuff for your Where was it? It's not the potions. You can buy um, potion desks and stuff like that. Is this it? No. It's a bit frustrating. What the bloody hell is it? Brooms, three broomsticks. No. T sharp, square. Oh, my days. What's this? Let's go here. Thieves. Hand them back. Hand what back, sir? 
But we've not took a thing. Hand them back. There's nothing to give, sir. It was only the one. Uh, <laughs> How many times are you pair going to keep filtering my shop? Not appreciate your antics and Crazy. <clears throat> that was a bit harsh. Rebellion. What am I looking at? Let's get out of this one. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a belly up. What can I do for you today? I hope to see you again. Yeah. Farewell for now. I need to... figure out which... Visibility and Thunder Brew. What can I do for you today? Oh man, that's expensive. Might just try and get these. Oh no, can't sell any of that though. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. I need to go and get some coin. Revelio. Meet, here I come. Can you imagine working at the ministry? Day in, day out. Very I just gave him money. God damn it. Something going down. Is that where the music just stops? No. Down here, see what's going down. I don't know where I just came from. God damn it. Rebellion.
Ah, uh, it's you. That's what I need. More of that, please. <clears throat> Reveal those chests to me. Lumos. Where are you, Moth? There you are. Come with me. It seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. I'm just going to stop the recording here, get enough money, and then start again. Otherwise, oh, it's going to get too boring. Alright, so I've found a few chests and got enough money to buy these. Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? What can I do for you today? Oh, that's... A wise decision. And Thank that's... you. Just how many I've got of each thing? No, I've got shit loads of mushrooms. Very good. Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished. I think I can sell that now. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Okay. Delivery time. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. 
But how can I maintain excellence when you order so often, giving me no time to brew? If you'd take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. Hopefully she'll give me one. say, I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Where is she at? Oh, damn. That is a broomstick. Jobby. Oh. Why can't I take off in Hogsmeade? Hogsmeade, here I come. No. Hogsmeade, here I go. Get low and see what we can see. What is that there? Curious building. Guessing I'll have to go there later. And I've not been to any of these places, have I? No, thank you. Not right now, pal. Do I have any more? Yeah. Missing something here. They're quite far away, aren't they? Where is it? There's one. Where's the other? Oh, hello. Ah, 
Okay. So that would be the last one. Rebellion. Is that just two like last time? Says three. There it is. Oh my god. This one looks like the highest. Wait. Bowen himself would be proud. Nice. Exactly, am I getting for those? Really curious when I'm going to be un able to unlock my beasts. I don't mind flapping around on one of them. Lives here. Just help ourselves to their stuff. Rebellion. You little chief. Calm your farm. Madam Luang, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Seems simple okay. enough. I'll do it. I <coughs> should think so. Is that all right for you? Have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. Very well. <laughs> Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. What do you have for sale? Let's see what she's got. 
What are we looking for today? That's it. I want to know what I have. Like, how many of these do I have? Is there a way to see that? No, I know what I want to buy. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Let's unlock this so we can fast Off travel. What do you have in store for me this time? Rebellion. Right, Merlin, where are your little pillars at? Zombies. Can bring them. Oh, little bugger. of the dead. Okay. Is that all of them? Rebellion. Alright, where was I? Where is... Let's see, what are these about? I 
worth it. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Where are they? Rebellion. ready to just get the hell out of here again. It's a cool little village though. map is massive. Jesus. Anything up there? What's that? Pit upon Ford. Cool. Alright. Back to Hogsmeade. lead to Hogsmeade. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Well, I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. I do truly appreciate your help. And at least it's done with. Ah, uh, thank you. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care. Okay. 